Hey there, and welcome to another Musician Reacts. We are back today. We're checking out some Bloodywood and Dana Dan. I haven't done Bloodywood for probably a year to 18 months since I last did anything from them. Uh, it's not because I've been avoiding them, it's just I've done a lot of other stuff. Now, of course, Bloodywood have just dropped out their actual debut album, uh, Rack Shack, uh, um, and this dropped the other day, and I felt it was only right that I should check this out. Now, if you like the video, please do subscribe, click the bell icon, like, share, leave your comments down below. If you want to support the channel, we have a Patreon, we have a Bandcamp, both are in the detailed description down below. You can click on the links, check them out if you want to support the channel. That would be awesome. If you don't, I completely understand. Let's do this. Dan a Dan, can it in? Three, two, one, go. Nice time changes in the this is cool. Why is the drummer so sitting so low behind his drum kit? Not up here, play. So like, that's how he's playing, it's crazy. I'm enjoying the power. It's cool power. They are definitely mixing up some metal stars in this. It's cool. Okay, blending in some different styles again. Everybody else, everybody else. I raise a fist for the nameless faces. Haters 
Okay. There we go. Some bloody wood. <coughs> Dan, Dan. It's like cool track. Um, it's better than I expected, and I expected it to be a good song. Uh, and the reason I say it's better than I expected is they've thrown in quite a few different sort of metal genres in there. They've mixed it up a little bit. We've got some different time signature giant changes to kind of keep you off guard. Um, they've got that kind of classic midsection, which is what I kind of. It's almost kind of what I think of as the Bloody Wood sound from what I've heard of, uh, of uh, other songs they've done um, before this album. So it's, you, they've kind of tied that into there, but then they've got this more intense sort of overall feel now so far. Uh, and I'm wondering if that's because they've actually put a full band together, because prior to this, we only had the, really the guitarist and the vocalist initially working on the material. Uh, and it's interesting once you bring other people in. So I know that they put a band together for when they were touring. I'm wondering with the album if they actually all wrote on it. Because that would explain a few things, or is it a case that it was still again the guitarist, vocalist that did the the bulk of the writing? You've now got obviously the guy that does the rapping as well, uh, who joined the band uh, officially uh, before they went out touring last last year or year before. Um, so yeah, it, it it was really well put together. The song was about sexual assault and the need to eliminate it. So again, they're being very. Uh, I guess that they're, they're dealing with social issues or sometimes it's political issues, sometimes it's social issues. They, they seem to write a lot of songs around that. We don't really get anything kind of uh, abstract, I guess. It's always about this. They're trying to put a message across. And I really like that. Um, I like it when they try to make it relevant and uh, keep the keep the lyrics current or with a specific goal in mind. Um, so I, I've always appreciated that of Bloodywood. So thumbs up from me or thumb up from me and a coffee up from me uh that was a great track by them now i'm looking forward to check out some more in the future so uh keep an eye out on the channel for that now if you like the video please do subscribe click the bell icon like and share and that of course is how a musician reacts